when you have a place like Death by Audio that cares about the musicians and actually wants to just foster a scene because it's fun, not because they want to become rich, really interesting things come out of that. The waterfront used to be just wild dogs and prostitutes and like a good place to break the law. I knew that we could create an environment full of art and creativity. It started to become this animal that grew into one of the best, if not the best, underground venue in New York. It kept getting better and better and the sound got better. Why would you keep improving it? And it's because it comes from a place of love. So many bands got in here first because I was tireless about finding them. You know, we didn't belong in New York City, but we immediately felt like these people are like us. Everybody came up through this place, like playing here. This is like a home. Thank you! You know, it is something is dying. Something definitely is being destroyed. I don't think many people besides like the shrewdest capitalists imagined what was gonna be here. It became clear that they wanted us to leave immediately. Robert, everything I own is covered in water. Did we need to talk? Put a lock on our door and that's it. Like everything that we've been working towards is just over. Goliath is absolutely going to destroy you if you, like, try to speak up. The artists for the last, like, 20 or 30 years created art within these places. And those same artists who invented this life are getting just pushed to the side. When you remove a space like this, you don't only remove the shows or the people who live here, you remove the entire ecosystem that this space supports. We wanted to have our last month in this space be the best month we ever had bring in every band and every artist that we had ever worked with or loved or collaborated with for the pure reason of like validating that it meant something to everybody. I just want to say I am eternally grateful that Death by Audio kicked ass for so long.